what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to be talking about scream 7 in this video here today so this is going to be in regards to mark kincaid patrick dempsey and this recent report about his commitment to a project that is not scream 7 and has raised some questions about whether or not he will be returning to the seventh film after all so despite getting a major role in the Dexter series, Daniel RPK is still reporting that Patrick Dempsey is still in talks to return for Scream 7 as Sydney's husband, Mark Kincaid. RPK is also continuing to report that Cox, Courtney Cox, that being, is signed despite the report that she was simply in talks by Variety and other reputable outlets. I do believe personally myself that Cox is signed, but there's been no major trade confirmation on it yet or any comment from Spyglass. I firmly believe that if filming is going to start in September, then we will get a big cast announcement either this summer, and if not this summer, it'll be during filming like what would happen with Final Destination 6. Now again, you would ask yourself, why would they do that? Well, keep in mind, there was things that went on with their last director in which he was harassed, threatened, etc. All of these things that went on after they dismissed Melissa Barrera and a lot of misinformed individuals, of course, took it out on Christopher Landon, went a little bit too extreme, started threatening his kids. And of course, the safety of his family comes first and foremost, not the seventh entry in a long running horror franchise. So it's not easy to think or not easy to no, or not hard to think that what they want to do is keep everybody safe from any type of online harassment like that. Granted, they also could just not want to have backlash come their way from those who are vehemently against this project, as they have a right to be so. So, here's the biggest thing to consider with Dempsey. If this is all true, why is Patrick not signed on yet? This isn't the first time we have heard that he is in talks, supposedly. What is happening that Spyglass and him cannot come to an agreement on this return? There was one video where I mentioned him allegedly deciding to turn down Bridget Jones to do a Scream 7, but Bridget Jones, of course, is already shooting at this point, and 7 is shooting in the fall. So it would appear with this recent report about Dexter that he instead turned down Bridget Jones to do this Dexter show. However, again, why is he not signed on to Scream 7 yet? Is Spyglass working out a Thanksgiving sequel deal with him simultaneously as well? Is Patrick wanting more money than they are willing to give for Scream 7, which is also I've heard stuff about that. I've talked about that in another video. All possible scenarios. Patrick is arguably the most in-demand star out of the legacy stars returning for 7. It could simply be that he has projects lined up around the fall that I don't know about and we could get a reduced role for Mark Kincaid when all of this is said and done. What if Patrick is unavailable at the end of the day and we get Mark Kincaid recast? That's a possibility. I wouldn't call it the biggest sin in the world for this movie either, but I'd prefer they write him out at that point altogether versus versus a random dude just walking onto the screen and saying he's Mark and me being a seasoned fan thinking to myself, you are not the real Mark Kincaid. <laughs> Absolutely not. As someone who has seen Scream 3 countless times, you are not Mark Kincaid. Now, could I look past it that it's not Patrick Dempsey? Yes, I would just prefer that you do not recast. You actually, I guess, could say it's a different Mark since you never told us on screen that it was Mark Kincaid. She just said, or do we actually just ask Sydney, how's Mark? She said, I think I'll keep him or something like that. He never said, how's Mark Kincaid? But everything off camera has confirmed that it's supposed to be Mark Kincaid. So it would be a bit weird for those of us who are aware that it's supposed to be Mark Kincaid, even though it wasn't ever stated on screen. Just write him out if you don't manage to get Patrick Dempsey back. That's what I think you should do with Mark Kincaid. But I do want to draw attention to this. It's almost like Spyglass could have avoided any and all potential drama that's going on, any struggles that they might be going on when it comes to getting everything together for Scream 7, I imagine that this all could have been avoided if they had just simply created another new story, set it in the same world, and go from there. They decided not to do that because Sidney Prescott was still a part of the original draft, the original story that was Scream 7 when Sam Carpenter and friends were still going to return the core for. Sidney also had a major role in that script as well that's of course not what we're going to get they took her part and just made it bigger and now of course it's split with this alleged babysitter her friends and we're going to go on and so forth from there and there's the possibility we get a new trilogy set around sydney prescott altogether if seven ends up being successful yada 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 however if they are in fact struggling to get things lined up for this fall shoot 
I could only imagine you wouldn't have so much problems if you weren't trying to go back down memory lane. You wouldn't. I think that's just a subject, not an even subjective truth. I think that's an objective truth. I think it would have been far easier for Spyglass. I'm not saying this is what fans would have preferred. Spyglass would have had an easier time getting this project up and running if they had just simply wrote a new story all together, set it in the same world, have little to no connective tissue to those first six movies outside of the fact that it's in the same world and do a standalone screen project. I feel like they could have gotten that off the ground a lot more quicker than whatever potential hurdles they might be having with securing Patrick Dempsey. Because like I stated, this is not the first time we've heard about him being in talks. So it has me wondering, what is it about Patrick that is taking so long to secure him? Because if Cox is signed on, I could only imagine she is getting the executive producer role again, which is what I've heard. Uh, possibly even more of involvement with things like that as it pertains to what she did in six, giving her a bigger role for seven behind the scenes, probably even bigger substantial role for Gail going into seven versus what we saw in six, since you're going to not have the core four to worry about. And Patrick might be someone who wants to match what Nev and Courtney are getting. Maybe that's the holdup. Patrick doesn't want to get less while his co-stars get more. And like I mentioned earlier, he arguably is the one that's in more demand. I don't see him. I don't really see an issue with him arguing to have more pay. I really don't. Out of these three, he's the one that's in more demand. That could be what's happening. Why he's still in talks and not signed on. Because Daniel is claiming that Cox is signed. So all of this is just still stuff we have to wait and see confirmed by the reputable trades. But I just want to make a quick video to really point attention to the fact that we still have a possibility of seeing him because he's in talk still reportedly. And just because he's going to be in Dexter doesn't mean that he's shut the door completely on returning for Scream 7. Ultimately, it could it could come down to him just being the opening kill, which to me would be very anticlimactic for the first time we see this man in over 20 years. Wow, how are you doing? Oh, I don't get to find out. You're dead. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification at your name is video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.